Hello, this is Retroburn aka Odamas, and this is part 5 of our Let's Play XCOM HD series. Loading game. Calling what we have researched xenobiology and alien materials. I wish I could see the tech tree uh, so I could see what what uh, th these finished projects have opened up. This technology has a number of potential applications. I'm sure the science team is eager to begin. I'll notify you as soon as we have something significant to report. We can... We can recruit one more... Oh, we can carry one more soldier, right? Because we've unlocked squad size, so... the new guy with a uh, nano suit so he could be the second assault operative. I find that they're really helpful with their run and gun skills but as I've said um, I still haven't determined how the game computes who gets to be the assault the sniper the heavy support but the time for promotion comes. I still can't believe Dr. Vaughan expects our troops to try to bring one of those things back here in one piece, much less alive. First game where um, your pool of soldiers have the, the soldiers in your um, current pool who have uh, different stats. So here, oh yeah, they're all similar. So I'll hire another. Okay, Christina Moreno. So we'll her, let's equip her with a nanofiber vest. I want her to be promoted to, to become an assault class operative, but I don't know if the game will let me choose. I mean, I, I don't get to choose, the game chooses, but I hope the game choo uh, chooses her to become an assault soldier. Okay, so I think there's uh, nothing to do, nothing more to do here. So we'll go to the mission control and scan for activity. Our research into the arc through our prototype, and we believe this device is ready for final production and engineering. The mechanism functions on the basic, basic premise of neurological disruption, emitting a focused electromagnetic pulse capable of confusing and incapacitating, incapacitating targets within a limited range. As this is our first venture into the field of non lethal weapons, excuse me, based on the alien physiology, it's safe to assume there may be an expected unexpected results in the field. It's very likely that some aliens will resist the disabling effects of the weapon, in which case it might be more effective to weaken the enemy first. The arc thrower is also constrained by current power supply technology. 
which limits its effectiveness to two shots per deployment. Dang. Any captives re retrieved from the field will have to be housed in an alien containment facility. I strongly advise you build the facility before attempting to capture live specimens. I expected that would be a priority research task, Commander. I'll begin allocating resources to the project immediately. I thought I've already researched that in part 4. Oh well. So, engineering... Build... So, we're going to manufacture 2. Planning to bring one of those things back here with the arc thrower, Commander. We're going to need a containment facility to house it in first. and the tension. assembled everything we need to capture and house an alien for interrogation, Commander. The rest is up to our forces on the ground. Awfully quiet this week. Commander, we're receiving a transmission from the Council. Coming on screen.
Alright. Rewards. We'll have a surgeon if we complete this one. Launching mission. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. of engagement for this mission will be in India. Okay, performing a dash move as a defensive bonus against an enemy reaction fire. Nice. A launching mission. UN official Peter Van Dorn and his entourage were caught in an explosion that decimated a nearby bridge, and we're picking up hostiles converging on the area. We need you to confirm Mr. Van Dorn is still alive, and bring him back safe before the whole place is overrun. New objective received. Hey, Friendly's over here! Okay, he's doing a run and gun him down. for recon purposes. Team here to get Van Dorn, right? He ran up ahead to find one of our men who got caught in the blast when those freaks at the bridge. Look, we're in no shape to take those things out. If you can go grab Van Dorn, we'll get you back to your aircraft. Damn it. 
Okay, two points of damage. It's not that bad.
I want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. Ah, shut up. They come. Thank God you're here. I'm still breathing, but I can't say the same for a lot of my boys. Let's get out of here before any more of those things show up. We should get the they're VIP back here, to the Sky man. Ranger on the double. Objectives updated. Okay, no need to tell me that. I know there's a Sky Ranger waiting. This is an escort mission for crying out loud. Okay, so we've got two targets. What are the chances? 33. Oh, I have huge space. Okay. No longer a threat. The blooper turned out to be a blessing, so... No worries there. I think we should punch up these two because they're wounded. So, I... Oh, bad. But the medicate isn't an area effect instrument, right? So I think I can only heal one. Fit you're from, but I haven't seen gear like that before. Right side of the map. Put his 
Horseman watch and let Van Dorn climb. Wait, what? Okay. Stay alert, Strike One. You've got hostile forces about to hit your position. get out of here alive I just hope I get another shot at these bastards I owe it to my men to make a run for the Sky Ranger. We'll make him hunker down. 
down, so he wants to take a pot shot at that sectoid. Okay, well, these three here. Oh my god, I can't see shit. I just wish I could have done more for my people. I lost some good men. Okay, she's critical, she's dying. Positioning the medic here so she can shield the rookie. Well, still enabling her to heal the mortal able to do it. looking bad out there. I might not have made it if you didn't show up. X-ray activity in that area. Enemy forces are likely closing on your location. That is what constitutes enemy forces. It's just one thin man. Against my steroid pump forces. This is a no contest. Love that 
Fuel's about to go. Why can't my soldiers see the thin man? They don't have LOS. So I forgot about the flaming car bit. So we can move panic apparatives. And just so suddenly, suddenly all our forces have been reduced to mewling babes. Oh 
we lost the sniper. Oh man. We lost our one and only sniper. That's super. Just fantastic. Heat ammo. The first plus 100 damage against robotic enemies. Second reaction shot. It's too much of an overkill. I'll choose the heat ammo. But uh, this is too situational. I think I think I'll just uh, choose rapid reaction. Okay, so he's now a lieutenant. Man. We will be in touch, Commander. So we've already completed the carapace armor. Oh, not yet. Wait, what? Research. Oh, we still have four days, okay. So we don't have the cash. We sell. We could sell stuff, right? Build by items, access. There, there. Um, there. Several members of the council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. However, we should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered their true value yet. These things sell cheap. 25. Man. But that's weird if I sell everything. That's not an option. in India and China. Darn. It's not going too good. We'll miss you, buddy. short so this has been Red Reburn aka Damas creator of Immacord at blogspot.com and you've just seen our first casualty in our let's play XCOM HD series so see you guys in part 6 please like and subscribe if you like the series so happy gaming guys see you around and stay cool <laughs>